Hey YouTubers, it's the legend of Jack here, bringing you some domination on Summit. I go 85 and 9 in this game, and I have a little special ending there for you, you know, at the end. But, um, so, hey, do any of you guys feel like, I, I mean, I, I personally really feel like this. Um, it's many different kinds, but let me, let me explain first. I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. I digest. I mean, I digress. Okay. So I'm walking around, you know, downtown or I'm walking around in the park or I'm, uh, strolling along the beach because that's what I do. A stroll. Um, and, uh, I'm walking and I'm feeling good and I notice that I don't have my iPod with me or my, my, you know, like my, my music playing device that plays music into my ears. And, uh, I think to myself, you know what would be really BA right now? It would be really BA if, uh, if I had some theme music, you know? If I had my own theme music. I'm just walking around downtown and there's like this boom da 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 I don't know if it'd be like that, but it could be something, you know, it could be, it could be classical music, like some epic Beethoven fucking crazy piano. It could be, it could be some kind of, uh, tribal fucking drum beats, you know, uh, cultural dance thing. I don't know. But do any of you people feel like that out there? Do you guys feel like your life is epic enough to have theme music? And if not, if it does, if it's not epic, I mean, it could st you could still have theme music, you know? It could just be like this slow waltz, maybe, you know? Maybe, uh, some kind of whimsical music if you're into, like, magic or, like, wow or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Theme music. And tell me what kind of themes, you know? Like, I want to hear what kind of themes you guys would have to your life. Or, like, how many different kinds of themes. Would you have, like, a I'm waking up and brushing my teeth kind of theme? I don't feel like showering today because, uh, I don't know, I'm super tired and I was up late playing Call of Duty theme. I don't know. I'm sure I have those themes. But also, okay, all right, little, little, bit, of a, little bit of a thing here that I wanted to talk about on the YouTube in the real sense, not just nonsense. Um, I wanted to, I got a few messages, okay? It's not a lot, you know? I'm not, I'm not a huge commentator. I only have 76 subscribers on this new channel here. But uh, I actually got like five messages, okay? And um, I, I really want to be getting back to you guys. I mean, I got more than five messages. You know, not like, I got five messages about this one thing. And um, I, I personally want to respond to people on a larger scale if uh, some of you have the similar questions and don't want to ask. Um, some of you told me that you liked my commentaries and that you liked my commentating style, and that was really flattering. Like, I am, I, it really makes me happy because I enjoy doing this. I love playing video games, first of all. I plan on making that my future regardless of uh, YouTube and commentary hood. Um, but, I mean, I, I like doing commentaries because I feel like I have a lot to say. Some of it be random um, and mindless, but a lot of it is just, you know, around the stuff that we all enjoy, which is video games or YouTube commentary or subject matter that we all can talk about and debate and discuss. But um, uh, a few of you actually asked, you know, um, you said that you couldn't talk to, like, some of the, the big names out there, like Nanners and uh, Hutch and um, Captain Sparkles and so on. There's so many great ones out there, and they really are all great. But you said that you could talk to me. And first of all, yes, you all can talk to me. Send me messages, please. I might not respond right away, um, but I'm going to respond to you guys because that's what I'm doing this for. Um, so that was cool that you said that, and um, I really appreciate it. Um, my advice to you guys is first and foremost, um, you're doing this, if you're doing this, it's, you're obviously doing it because it's your passion. No one's going to waste hours of time playing video games to, to get some decent footage, um, or some good footage or, you know, to get good at a game, whatever game it is that you play. Um, and then spend whatever time it takes to edit and put these videos onto your computers and then uploading them to the internet themselves. You know, nobody's going to spend hours doing this unless they absolutely love it or, you know, enjoy it thoroughly, I should say. But, um, uh, so enjoy it. That's my, that's my first advice, you know. Um, my second advice, um, be yourself. Always be yourself. Always, uh, do what feels best to you. Um, there's a lot of people that commentate out there, so it's not going to do you a lot of good to 
um, try to mimic the people that you like. Um, you know, I mean, of course you can take some of their qualities. That's, that's always, um, that's always cool. People do that in all kinds of walks of life. You know, they do that in sports, they do it in uh, music everywhere, but, um, you want to be yourself and you want to do what feels comfortable with, uh, the playing style that you're bringing, the games that you're playing and you yourself, you want to feel comfortable with what you're, you're putting out on YouTube because you're talking to anybody. You don't even know who you're talking to yet. Um, so I, I do advise that. Also, um, you know, like it's not everybody has to be funny. Not everybody has to have the latest information and be up to date. Not everybody has to do a different game and bring all different types of games. You know, you can do what you like. You can do what you feel comfortable with. Don't jump outside of your um, circle of uh, comfort, you know, unless that's what you do and that's what your YouTube channel is about. I mean, that'd be a great idea. You know, it's whatever you want, of course, but always do what feels comfortable to you first of all and what you're good at and what you enjoy and people will probably respond to that naturally better than anything um you'll find that right away everybody else wants to know um like how do you get people to notice your videos that is hard i mean youtube's a grueling community it's large it's vast it's this pool and web that tangles all across the world but um there's these it's you know it's all based on a hit um basis and your tags and are your videos going to come up um, if they're, if they're not being watched, no one's going to see them. If they're not watched already, then why are people going to want to watch them type thing? And I understand that, but there's a large gaming community out there and there's a large community that, um, doesn't post videos. They don't post commentaries, but they like to watch commentaries. So what I like to do myself is not, um, so much like steal subscribers because I don't believe you can steal subscribers. Obviously, you can be subscribed to hundreds and hundreds of people and thousands of people if you want to be. Um, but I mean, I I I am I recommend going to people's channels that are already famous or already have lots and lots of friends and checking out the ones on their friends list that do like watching videos because it tells what they're what kind of person they are and um, how active they are in those areas. What kind of videos are they com um, are they commenting on or are they liking or are they favoriting? And if you go to those people and send them messages, you know, say, hey, check out my video if you get some chance. Don't put it on their walls. You know, you know, you don't want to be spammy at all. Um, it's got to be a personal message, message, and they'll get to it when they get to it. And then they'll write you back if they want to. If they don't, no problems. You know, move on. Just go to the next one. Um, it, it takes a lot of time, and it's going to take days and weeks and months and whatever. You know, these things take years. But that's, the, that's why I said first and foremost, you have to love this. Um, loving this is key. So, um, if you're not loving it, don't do it. Um, find something else that you do love and I guarantee that you're going to excel in that. But, um, yeah, that's my advice really. And if there's anything else that you want, always send me a message, uh, write a comment, ask me a question. If there's something that you don't like, tell me, I don't care if you comment, you know, if I don't like it, obviously I'm going to remove it. Um, but I mean, if it's, you know, like if, if you're, if you want to ask me something, or if you have any quarrels, always send me a message and I'll talk to you. That's what kind of guy I am. Um, I hope that's what kind of, uh, guy you want me to be. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to bring to you guys, you know? Um, other than that, I took a huge week off. I guess it felt huge just because I, I, I normally play Call of Duty's pretty, uh, Call of Duty games pretty regularly. But, uh, I took, a I took like a week off probably. And I started playing some Oblivion. Um, I didn't play it when it came out. Um, I was playing other games at the time. I was playing a lot of Modern Warfare 2. Um, I was still even playing like COD 4. And I don't know. I just didn't, uh, uh sometimes I, I let a lot of games pass up and then I come back to them. Well, I was enjoying the shit out of Oblivion. I am an epic fucking mage. All right. Let me tell you guys, uh, you don't even know. But uh, it's a pretty cool game. Like, if you're into RPGs that uh, aren't MMOs, it's not an MMO, but if you're into RPGs that you could put a lot of time into and come back to and go away from and then come back to and go away from, that's a great game right there, Oblivion. I do recommend it to a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of different playing styles and a lot of different ways to play it. Also, Skyrim's coming out in on 11, 11, 11, and I'm getting that, and uh, I'm probably going to be putting it up on here. So that's what I wanted to know. Would you guys watch... Um, my gameplay of Skyrim as a mage of some sorts, um, if I was doing commentaries. I'd probably make the videos a little bit shorter than this. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. My name is Legend of Jack, and I am out of here. Peace!